Hello everyone. Happy Saturday. I hope everyone is having a great Saturday. Welcome, welcome. Come on in. This is Nancy Amato, the Be More Stamper. Come on in, take a seat, grab a cup of something, and we're going to have fun stamping today with some new products that will be in our upcoming annual um, catalog. Speaking of which, look what I have in my hot little hands. Woo! So my catalog order came in. I am working on getting them out to you as soon as possible. They're almost ready to be mailed. Um, so if you have placed an order with me in the past year, you will automatically get a brand new catalog. Sorry for that little glare right there. Plus, you're going to get this really handy dandy <laughs> um, bookmark. This also is giving you samples of the new in colors, the Boho Blue, the Copper Clay, Moody Mauve, Pebbled Path, and Wild Wheat. So that will be in your packet along with a few other goodies as well. So I cannot open this new catalog yet to show you anything online, but this is the cover. So they will be in the mail pretty soon. I'm trying to finish them up this weekend. But I wanted to give us a sneak peek of a new bundle. And I know I can't open the catalog, but I can certainly show you the new products. So that's my like little sneaky plan here. Okay. So this is, um, this bundle here is called Timeless Arrangements. And it is a stamp and die set bundle. Alrighty. You can see all of these great greetings that are included and some floral imagery as well. So I like to make this little cheat sheet for myself to keep myself straight as to what is in each bundle. So let's go over this one right now. I can just lay these things to the side. So here are all of the greetings in this bundle. I love that, okay? So there are a few of them, like one stamp says love and then it has an ampersand. So you could combine that with the love and thanks. So that would make a nice greeting, okay? Here's another one, a very big thanks. So this is very versatile. This one says just can't, and then there's a space, and then enough, okay? So I think this one goes with this printed thank you. So you can stamp just can't, and then the blank, and then enough, and then do the thank you on one of these thinner um, label dies here and layer that right over top. So there, there's just, I haven't even, I haven't even um, hit the tip of the iceberg with this one yet. So lots of greetings. We have this fun little image here, some little flowers here. So I love this already. That's all I'm saying. So the dies, the dies come with these four images here. Okay. And you'll notice there is like a bar connecting these um, images together. And we're going to go over that in just a second because I have some little stunt doubles ready for you to show you how that works. There's also three nice rectangular labels that of course you can use either vertically or horizontally depending on which way the stamp goes. There are also some additional dies for if you wanted to add some extra leaves to any of these or flowers. I think this kind of looks like a, a three leaf clover as well. So I can see where that will be great for St. Patrick's Day if we die cut that in garden green. Then there's this die right here. So another little berry sprig or the flowers that go with this one. So you can see each of these coordinate 
with one of those dies here with the bar at the bottom. Then there are also stamped images, so two berry sprigs here, one, and I don't know what flower this is, but one of these, <laughs> a leaf sprig, and this one kind of looks like either a tulip or a poppy, so there is a die that goes around these images and cuts out the stamped images as well. Okay, so let's have some fun here looking at what these dies do. Let me make sure I'm in the right place. Oh, hey Beth, how are you? I hope you're having a good day. So let's move this aside. We're gonna play with these four die cuts right now. <clears throat> and then we are gonna stamp and make this card together today, okay? Alrighty, so that's gonna give you a sneak peek of a new designer series paper as well. All right, let me slide my cheat sheet over here a quick second. And I have like a little Ziploc bag of goodness here. <laughs> so here are the four die cuts we were talking about with these bars at the bottom here that connect the um, imagery here. Okay, so here's how this works. I've already just cut one of these wider rectangles because we're going to need this for our make and take. But let me show you how these dies work. And I'm going to do it in all basic white and then I want to show you how different it can look if you use different colored cardstock as well. Okay, so first things first. Let's do this one. You can layer these in any order that you want. Okay, so I am basically just going to take this, pick it up, lay it down right on top of that bar. Then I'm just going to take this one, lay it down. Now this bar is a little bit smaller, so I have a little wiggle room here to put that right where I want it. And then I'm going to take the berries and lay them right on top. Okay, so what you do is you're like you're building this scene of these little die cuts here. And then once you have them all attached together, then you put them, you put your label right on top of where that bar is that connects. All right, let's slide that over. Let's bring in these four so you can see how much fun it would be to do this in, in different colors. Now you may say, why are you choosing these colors? Well, I wanted to give you a little, another little sneak peek of some new colors that are being added to our color family. So this is Pecan Pie. This is Azure Afternoon. I'm trying to remember all these. Lemon Lolly and Bubble Bath. Okay, so I can already tell you, oh, I'm loving this Pecan Pie for a nice little neutral there. All right, so let's do the same thing. We're just gonna stack these up and I know these colors may not really <laughs> float your boat, but I just wanted to show you the new colors as well. So let's put the berries right there. And then let's add in these florals. And then on top, we are going to do the lemon lolly. So you can see, like you can slide that down a little bit if you want, if you want those little flowers to be right there. And if we attach all of those, then we can attach them to one of the labels, labels that we have die cut and stamped a greeting on. And look how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness. I can see where I'm just going to be playing with this stamp all the time. Hey, Lisa Chatterjee and Lisa Dodge. My Lisa's are in the house. And hey, Peggy, how are you? I hope you guys are having a good day. Right here, we're getting ready to have a thunderstorm. It is humid as all get out in my house right now. So I'm kind of looking forward to that thunderstorm. So if you hear some rattling in the background, that's what's going on here. Alrighty. Now, you don't always have to use all four of these, okay? You could just choose to use the one. Alrighty. And you would have one here. And I would always do one on the opposite side too, because, you know, I'm a little matchy-matchy. 
or you could just decide, okay, I just want the leaves and the berries and that's it. I can see where that would be pretty for holiday cards. All right, so you pick and choose which ones you want. If you want all four, that's perfect. If you don't, you're in charge of your card, right? So there we go. Alrighty, so let's get started on the project I wanted to show you today. So you may have already seen this on my, um, my page. I think I have posted this, but this is a little card I made with the, oh my goodness, I'm forgetting the name of it already, <laughs> with the Timeless Arrangement Bundle. Oh my, that sounded like a car backfiring, I'm hoping. Or, um, and the Countryside in um, Designer Series Paper, which is new as well. So let's get started. We're gonna make this little card right here. Um, and the Countryside in Designer Series Paper is a new paper that is in our annual catalog. And let me just quickly show you the pieces again. Look at that, this is the one we're gonna use with the cute little bunnies. And then the opposite side. This reminds me of um, wallpaper, not gonna lie. 1980s here. <laughs> it looks a little wallpaper-ish. I love this one. Oh my goodness, I can see where I'm going to be using a lot of that. And then the back side is right here. Luckily, we still have power because that did sound like a transformer going. Here are some nice little doves. I think they're doves. I'm going to say they are. And then the back side is a nice muted stripe here. Love it, love it, love it. And then here is another pattern. This one actually coordinates with the um, embossing folder, which I forgot to put on my pre-order, so I'm going to have to get that one. And then another nice little stripe here. And then another one with these cute little fox. They remind me of the little fox in the woods back in my backyard. And then some nice little dots here. Very muted there. I love the pattern size, I think. And then the last one, some trees and flowers. And then the back side. Looks like a bunch of teeny tiny little tulips. I know it's probably hard to see because the pattern is quite small. But when you, when you zoom in on it, it does look like a bunch of little tulips. So today we are going to use the bunnies. Okay, so let me slide this back in my case here. I'm trying to keep myself organized. It's, it's a process, let's put it that way. All right, let's slide over our make and take kit here. All righty, so let's put these away. These are all of our little die cuts. I'm just gonna put them right up there on my laptop and probably watch them slide down. <laughs> so what we are going to need for this card today is a piece of, oops, I even wrote it out to keep myself ready. Um, a piece of boho blue. That is one of our new in colors. And this piece is eight and a half by five and a half. And it is scored in the middle at four and one quarter and folded over to make a card base. Now, my initial sample, I did um, a top fold card so I could stand it up like this. So either way is fine. Either way will work out. But for this make and take, I just did it the um, horizontal way. You're going to need two pieces of basic white and they are cut at four by five and one quarter. Okay, this one is going to go on your inside. This is your layer on the outside. And then you're gonna need one piece of the Countryside Inn Designer Series paper. And this is cut at three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. I was getting a little fancy this time. I just wanted a really narrow really narrow border around that white, okay? Alrighty, and then we are also going to use this rectangle die cut 
and it is stitched as well so I love this so this comes from the timeless arrangements dies and then we are going to need let me grab these out of this bag we are going to need all of these <laughs> die cuts which I have done ahead of time for us so here are all four of these. I'm going to just stack them up. Okay, so we're going to need both sets. So there's the leaves and the leaves and then the flowers and the flowers. Now I need to poke out some centers of these flowers a little bit. Let's just get those out of there real quickly. There we are. What are you guys doing on this Saturday? I think we're supposed to have thunderstorms, so we won't be doing anything outside. Let's put it that way. There we go. Okay, so we have all four of these. I am going to stack these and glue these together first. So I'm going to bring in my um, silicone mat here. It just makes it so much easier that the sticky will not be on my work surface here. And I am going to start with my leaves. Okay, that I, I want that one on the bottom. So I'm just going to open up my liquid glue. Just put a thin little line on there. And let's see, let's put, I can't remember which order I did this in last time. We're just going to go leaves and then berries today. Okay, so we have that right on top and press that down for a quick second. And then let's do these babies that look like clover. So I'm just going to stack those together like that. And just hold that for a hot second just to let that glue grab it and now the last thing we're gonna do are these flowers okay so you can see how they just how the the thing the elements are staggered like the flowers are staggered and the berries are a different area but oh my goodness look at that you can just make that in a matter of seconds I love it all right we're gonna do the same thing for the second one remind me what I did <laughs> I think I did I know I did leaves first and then I did berries I'm not sure if these are supposed to be berries or eucalyptus or what they're supposed to be but I'm calling them berries today and then we did the clovers And then the flowers. Okay. There we go. Oops. Stick into my finger. All right. And then we're going to put the flowers on. Oh my goodness. I love this. I just love this. I love how you can build the different layers. It's just so beautiful. All righty. Okay. So we have these two done. I'm just going to move those over to the side so we can get our stamping done. All right, so here is our greeting, and this is a photopolymer set. You can tell because the stamps are absolutely clear. So I love that because I can see right through there to know where I want to put my image. Um, but we are going to need our little foam mat here. And because we're adding in these little tulips here, I'm going to put a piece of scrap paper underneath because we're going to go um, off the edge a little bit. So first things first, Knight of Navy is for our greeting. So we have that opened up and we're just going to tap, tap, tap. Alrighty. And I'm going to try not to get my head in here. But here we go. Hope your day is filled with everything good. Alrighty. We have that done. I can close this up. Move that over. 
And then our little tulip flower, we're gonna use Boho Blue, but we're gonna stamp it off one time on our scrap paper as well. Now, the first time I did this, I did the flowers in the upper right and the lower left. I'm gonna reverse it this time so we have a flower down here. So let's ink up these tulips and we're gonna stamp it one time on our scrap paper and then we're gonna stamp it onto our greeting. And we can overlap the greeting a little bit because see how much lighter it's going to be? Let me show you that on the scrap paper. So here it is at 100%, brand new. Here it is once we've stamped off a layer. It's just a much lighter image and I like the way it looks because it doesn't compete with the greeting there. Okay, so let's do this once again. Ink that up with Boho Blue. Oh, that wasn't very good. Let's get that nice and juicy. Alrighty, and then stamp that coming in from the upper right. Okay, there we go. And you can still read the greeting because the um, floral imagery is just a little bit lighter. While we have this out, let's grab our envelope flap and do the flower as well. We're gonna do it at 100% this time though, okay? Alrighty, I love these blues in this designer series paper, oh my goodness. The boho blue and the knight of navy. I can see that combination happening quite, quite often. Alrighty, I am gonna put the stamps over here and clean them in a little bit. We are, yes we are, we are finished stamping already. Okay, let's bring this over. So the first thing we're going to do is attach our little bunny paper onto a layer of the basic white. And again, see the, the reverse of the bunny paper. Who's with me? This is 1980s dining room wallpaper. That's what it reminds me of. But it's a pretty little stripe. I'll probably be using the bunny side much more often <laughs> than the 1980s blue striped wallpaper. Ask me how I know I have striped wallpaper in my dining room, very similar to that. Not blue, but same kind of idea. That's why it reminds me of wallpaper, I guess. Alrighty, so we are just attaching this piece of designer series paper right onto our layer. Okay, that's the first thing. We are going to use the Knight of Navy. What is this called? Bordered ribbon. It's three eighths of an inch. This is currently in our January through April mini catalog, but I am so happy it has carried over into the annual catalog. So I love it, love it, love it. Now I do have the Boho Blue ribbon here as well. Let me show that to you. It is the same width. It's also 3 eighths of an inch. There it is. It was in the box next to me. So that is very pretty as well. It's just a little bit lighter. So I really wanted to get the contrast between the, the uh, Knight of Navy and the Boho Blue. So that's why I chose this ribbon instead. I will use this ribbon when I'm using a darker piece of the Countryside Inn designer series paper, because in that case, I would want a lighter ribbon. So, but the, the blues are just beautiful. Alrighty, so we're gonna wrap this just around the front. So what I like to do is just lay this down and snip it off the spool, okay? Just gonna snip it like that. And what I'm gonna do is just flip this over now use a little bit of our stamp and seal and put that on the back. Whoops, let me get that going. And now just lay this ribbon right over and push it around the back and stick it in that line of adhesive that I just laid down there. Okay, so there it is. The advantage to doing it that way is now I can look at it and if I want to move this ribbon 
just ever so slightly. I can lift it up out of that adhesive. Yep, and I need to move this one just a skosh as well. And slide it down and then push it right back in there. Okay, that's looking pretty good to me. I'm trying, I'm aiming for the middle. So I think that pretty much looks like the middle. Although I have to admit, I'm using new glasses <laughs> this week, so I don't know. It might not be the middle, but looks like it to me with the new glasses. Alrighty. Now we are going to just get out our tear and tape adhesive, or if you have some scotch tape sitting there on your desk, that will work as well. I just like covering up these little ends of the ribbon so that they don't try to sneak out once we put the card together. Okay, so there we go with that. Alrighty, now we can put this whole layer onto the card front. And we can even remove that little wax paper from our tear and tape adhesive and expose the adhesive and that will help it hold onto the card front as well. So there we go. Take your pick tool is my favorite friend when it comes to that because my fingers sometimes don't always work as I want them to. Alrighty, so I can pick that up. Here is our card front. And then this is just gonna layer flat right onto the front, okay? So there we go, just push that down. All right, so we have that done. Okay, let's push this aside. Let's bring over these guys, all righty. So we have this one for one side and this one for the other. And what we are going to do, we want to build these so that it looks like, it looks like these flowers are going all the way around the greeting, okay? So what I like to do is just lay these down onto my silicone craft mat, and then I'm gonna lay that right on top of it. And then position this a little bit more so that I'm not crowding, crowding it out too much. Let me slide this one over just a little bit. Okay, I like the way that looks right there. Okay, let me straighten that up. Then what I'm gonna do is just put some more glue right on these bars, okay? Take my label and lay it right on top. Easy peasy, so much easier than trying to pick up these things and line them up. Ask me how I know. <laughs> it was a learning curve. There we go. So we have this whole element now. Look how gorgeous that is, oh my goodness. Okay, and because these have such um, a depth because we have four pieces of paper um, piled right on top of each other. We are gonna use dimensionals in the middle here. Okay, so we're gonna have one on either end and then we're gonna put one right there in the middle and that is going to attach this to the front of our card. All right, so let me peel off these little pieces a wax paper here, bring in our card front again, and now we can just lay that right there in the center. Okay, oops, make it straight, there we go, and push it down, okay. Hopefully that is really straight, yeah, okay. I have progressives now, ladies, and I'm still getting used to them. Still seems like the sides, <laughs> the world is like spinning. When I look towards the side, I have to keep remembering to turn my head and not my eyes. Alrighty, last thing we need to do is a quick little bow here. So I'm just gonna pull the ribbon off of our spool and we're gonna make a bunny ear bow once again. We're gonna go up and down like a hill and pinch that with our pointer and our thumb up and down like a hill, pinch that one. Now we're gonna cross it like an X and then 
push one of those loops in the hole that we left with that space. And then we can play with it and figure out how big or how small we want it by tightening the loops. There we go. All right, I don't want it quite that loopy. There we are. I think that's pretty good. Like that. All righty, is that about the same size? Yeah. All right, and then just pull that knot tight. It's not gonna come out. And now we can cut it from the spool and then just trim off any excess that we have right here. Throw that little piece away and then wind up the ribbon that we have and put that aside because I can tell you I'm gonna be using this ribbon quite a bit. Alrighty, let me pull out some glue dots here from my little drawer. And here's my next little glue dot there. I am just gonna push the knot of that bow right into the glue dot and then pull it off and then put that bow right there. So it looks like I tied this all in one piece, but you know my secret, I really didn't. I put in a separate little bunny ear bow right where I wanted it. So for those of you who struggle with those, that's the secret. You do a cheater bow <laughs> right there. Alrighty, so let's bring in our basic white layer. And I just left um, this blank because this, the um, greeting says, hope your day is filled with everything good. That can be used for really all occasions, birthdays, you know, thinking of you whatever you would like. So I'm just using a plain white layer on the inside so that you can write in whatever you would like. And then here is the coordinating envelope because, you know, no naked envelopes. So that is the project for today that we used our timeless arrangements we'll grab that and bring that back up. So the timeless arrangements, stamp set and die. So the bundle together saves you 10%. And let me just look in the back here off camera so I can give you an idea of the price. I cannot open it just yet on camera. I can do that though after May the 2nd. So this bundle, the, the stamp set and the dies all together, um, it's going to be $54, okay? So that is in our new annual catalog, which I am getting ready to send these out again. Um, if you've ordered from me in the past year, you are getting one right in your mailbox. Or if you do not have a demonstrator and you would like one of these catalogs, just comment below and I'll reach out to you and get your mailing address but these are going to go out monday morning bright and early so my local ladies you should all have them um by wednesday wednesday sounds like a good plan so this is the project we made today um and i will be catching up on the giveaway cards tomorrow <laughs> that is on my to-do list for tomorrow. So if you would like a chance to win this card with this envelope that we made today, please like or love, comment or share this video. And um, I will put your name in the drawing for this card next week. But I'm going to be catching up on the previous week's cards and contacting the winners. Um, and then you can have a chance to win this card. Oh, Lisa, you said this bundle just moved up on your, on your priority list. I know, it is absolutely beautiful. When I first saw it, I'm gonna be honest with you, until I make these little cheat sheets for myself, when I first saw these dies, I'm like, what in the actual world do you do with those? You know, I'm thinking, why does it have this connecting bar? And then I thought, oh, you stack these together. 
and oh my goodness and I saw some you know samples in the catalog that demonstrators could look at the PDF catalog online and I thought oh my goodness I really have to have this and I can't wait to play with it like I said using some different colors to die cut these images now I probably wouldn't use these exact colors but they're not too bad actually the four new colors joining our um, regular lineup um, but yeah I can't wait to like play with these with either different greens and like do the flowers a springy color uh, I can just see where if this is either berries or eucalyptus I'm not sure which but I can see how that is gonna be just so gorgeous for you know around a holiday greeting you know the mind is already starting starting to spin so that is our project for today thank you so much for joining me and I hope you have a good week I'll be creating a little bit more with this bundle this week and just posting some samples right here on this page um, so be sure to tune back in plus I'm starting to expand and go on to YouTube oh my goodness so if you want to follow me on YouTube <laughs> it's a hoot and a half because it's just like this it's real life stamping mistakes and all um, so my YouTube channel is Nancy Amato and then comma be more stamper so be sure to go over, follow me there, subscribe, and um, yes, we will see some different videos there um, in the coming days. So I'm trying to learn a new skill. So be kind. I'm not going to have it all together at first, but it should be worth a laugh. That's all I can say. Alrighty, everybody. Thank you so much. I appreciate you joining me today, and I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Bye-bye.